Hello all my model car building buddies. This here is Model Cars with Glenn and I'm Glenn and I approve this video. Okay, now that I got that silliness out of the way, what am I going to do? I got to do something. I'm going to give a shout out to my buddies there. That's where I got this here 49er. I've been working on it. I figured to uh, make it a little more custom and draggy at the same time. I rounded out all the fender wells to match the wheels. So that'll give it a, a racy look and a custom look, I'm hoping. You'll see when it's done. If you don't believe me, you don't have to. But there's a front end on it. And not done that, haven't done nothing back there yet. But with the wheels rounded out like that, the fronts match the back. And it shows more of those pretty tires that look so good. Okay, well, that's this guy. And he's going to go over here and kick back for a bit. Now, uh, I want to do a shop card shout out for someone I haven't yet got a shop card from. That's Tim Brown at Throttle Power. He's a good dude, and I've been trying to get a shop card from him. But I, he gave me his uh, Gmail one time, and then I lost it. Because uh, I'm not smart. No, nope, not even a little. And uh, so if you're out there, Tim, and you're listening, send me a damn shop card. And then when it gets here, I'll mail you one of mine. All right. Anyway, uh, Throttle Power is an excellent, excellent show. He has all kinds of stuff to watch, like uh, model car videos that he does. had not done it in a while, but he's got so many different uh, venues He'll go, he's got the model car shows, the trade, the trade, uh, what do you call it? The vendors, you know, where he looks at all the different model cars and probably <laughs> buys up a bunch of them. Plus the real car shows, cars driving in and the leaving and going around and looking at. You can't go wrong going to his show. You're going to find something to interest you. That's uh, Throttle Power and it's Tim Brown's show. All right. Well, oh, also Pamela Hirschhorn. Uh, you got to go check out her channel because she shows you all the cars that'll pique your interest. You know, not just ordinary cars. She shows all kinds of cars. Plus, she knows everything about them. Uh, she's wealth of information and history stuff. And she shows some really cool cars that you don't see just every day. I one a couple days ago, she had one on micro minis. Showed the little uh, Messerschmitt and the BMW Isetta. Those things are so cool. And where else do you see those? You see them on Pamela Hirschhorn's kit uh, show. So y'all go. All you got to do is type in Pamela Hirschhorn, and at right there on the top of the page where it's got that little magnifying glass search, it'll take you to her. And watch her and give her a subscribe and a like and a comment. And tell her she's cool because she is. She's the nicest person you, you've ever met. Never met. Anyway, okay, that's those two guys. Uh, little Glenn is over there saying hi. He ain't moving around much because I think he's, he, actually, I think he's asleep. You can't tell when he's awake or asleep because he don't move around much. Uh, let me see. Oh, brother's picture. Let me show you Donnie's picture, the latest artistical triumph. How about that? That's not bad now. Come on, you guys gotta like this. Got the got the swimming dinosaurs, got some I don't know. Is there some hiding up there in the tall grass? Got the tall grass going on. And a couple of uh pterodactyls up in the sky with the usual planets that are close. And uh yeah, neat looking mountains. Oh, there's a blue sun coming up, too. Or a blue moon. Who knows? And, yeah. Pretty picture, though, Don. Good good job, bud. Okay. Uh, next. Let me see. I, I talk all the time about using models for parts. Parting out models, taking parts out of the box. And you think, well, what's good about that? You've got a whole box full of extra parts now. That you don't need. What, do you throw them away? No, I don't throw them away. I ain't stupid. I sound stupid, but I'm, I'm not. Let me show you. 
Look what's left. This is the kit that I used to build the jag, the Jagster. Remember the Jagster, that green uh, 29 or 30? It is a 29 with the Jaguar motor. Look here. Got an extra rear end. A whole nother Roadster frame. That's good stuff. What do we have here? Believe it or not, that is a whole front end, Roadster front end for a 29 Roadster. And if you'll notice, there's four right here. There's four of these guys. Two of them are for a lowered and two of them are for a higher, a low boy or a high boy. So you got all these extra front end parts for if you're building something. Uh, here we have, oh man, real nice blower. And there's the front and back to the blower right here. And that's the front cover with the place for the alternator. Cool headers. Cool. Those are, those are lake style headers. And there's the valve covers and the tranny pan. I'm pretty sure there's a motor in here. Yep. There's the motor with the blower drive, carburetors, intake. Half the motor, the other half fell off of the tree. But look at all this. This is all stuff that all you have to do is add a little bit of model to it. Or maybe the model you're building doesn't have as good of parts as these. What is that? Oh, that's those little things. Check it out. Cool wheels. Cool rims. Uh, what is this? Uh, I'm not sure what that is. But uh, rear, rear links. Traction bar links. Cool steering wheel. Extra. And, oh, that's a differential. There's some shocks. Coilover shocks. Beauty rings and, and uh, hubcaps. Got all that. Interior panels. So you got an older 29 kit that ain't got all the really nice parts. Here they are. They're right here. Look. Here's the thin. These are those Buick, big Buick finned aluminum brake drums. You don't see those every day. Let me put that thing there. And uh, there's the backs for them. That's a top for the 29 uh, sedan, but you're not using that. Here's a, here is a battery in a box, battery box, and fuel cell. Real nice fuel cell. Totally a detail. Got the sending unit uh, plate on top. That's good stuff. Couple of wheels. I mean, what else we got? There's the other half of the motor. And some stuff and some things. Rest of that interior. Here's a seat. Got painted, but it's still good. See, I got all this stuff left over. So you think, well, you know, you're going to ruin a kit by taking out parts. No. What you can do is you got an improvement for another kit. All you got to do is use these parts on another kit. I got a 29 up there. It's an old release, and it ain't nice. And it, the chassis isn't near as nice as this. The interior is not near as nice. And as far as anybody's concerned, the 125th Model A Roadster should fit a 125th Model A Roadster by a different company or an earlier release. So there you go. You know, what's wrong with that? That will get you by. Speaking of leftover parts... That 37, there's a 37 Ford, there's a pickup out now, and there was a sedan delivery out for now. This is a 32 grill. This is the grill insert for the 37. And if you'll notice, it fits really good at the top. And just have to, where's my finger? I lost my finger there for a second. All you got to do is lop off a little bit of the bottom. Maybe take a sanding block and, Round out the corner so it fits. Look at that. That don't even look like a 32 grill anymore. That looks like a cool grill. And it's almost a drop in. You know, if you want it to sit farther back in there, you'll have to take a little off the sides. Right now it's sitting on the outside edge, but it fits really good on the outside edge. And let me, ah, I just threw it on the floor. Let me move this and show you. That 
Let me move this because it's in the way. Okay. That is on the TV there. That is one with the grill. Let me it, let it go around one time. That's the 32 with the grill in it. It doesn't come in real good. But you can see the 32 with a uh, deuce with that grill is completely different from deuce without it or, you know, with a stock grill or even a custom grill. Look how good that fits. I mean, that's just, that's just classy looking. Let me get it back around one time. And play. Yeah. See? That's just a little bit of customizing modification. Put this grill in that in that grill shell. And it's different, you know. If you're tired of the way your 32 looks or you don't want to build another 32 with the same grill in it. Because there's not a lot of options. This is an option. Okay, that's a 37 grill in a, in a deuce, deuce frame. All right, I, I guess I'll just let that run. Is it going? Yeah. All right, I got a couple models to show you. This is a gasser truck day. Got gasser trucks. I got three gasser trucks, if I could fit them on the whirly jigger here. And oh, they just fit barely. Anyway, this is my this is my three gasser trucks. This is a some year or other. <clears throat> I'm thinking '64. The AMT sixty or Revel '64. You can see it. There's the box that came in up there. Right there. Hit play again on that. All right, I'm doing it. No, not that. Jeez. Okay. Anyway, that's the box. Uh, 64 Chevy truck. And this is the 64 Chevy truck as a gasser. Using parts left over from other kits that got scavenged for parts. Like I was just showing you. This one, I can't tell you what year it is. Ah, trick question. It's 2022. Ah, really though. I don't know what, I don't know what year this is. This is a Mobius. This is a Mobius Ford. And there he is, a Super Ford. It's got the, I love those headers coming down into wheel wells. I said that before, but that's one of my favorite things about gassers is the wheel, the headers coming out the wheel wells. Also, you know, you can see all the cool parts. I look inside, you can see the, there's a fire bottle and some other stuff that belongs in there. And in the back, no no drag chute because this, this guy only turns about 120 in the quarter. So he doesn't need the drag chute. This guy, what would you say he is? About a 55? It looks like, it looks like a beard keg on the front. Actually, I didn't have any uh, moon tanks when I built this. So I used a couple of hubcaps, um, dog dish hubcaps, yeah, and a piece of, uh, I think, blast truck for the round middle, and then I made the legs for it. But yeah, it looks like a beer keg. And there's some of these front wheels. I got extra ones of those with that uh, American, what is it, it's 55 Chevy Bel Air with the stars and bars. Yeah, got extra pair of these with that. I love those wheels. They're my favorites. And Texaco. You'll notice Texaco is my main sponsor on my on my gas or trucks. I think there's a Texaco on this. No? No, Wally Speed Shop. Okay. Well, Wally may have a Texaco station somewhere. Oh, you can see in the background there's that, what is that, 48, 49 Ford pickup? Chopped. And street, pro street, there's a pro street vet. Anyway, back to the trucks in the foreground. Let me see, what can I say about this? Uh, it's got an interior in it, it's dusty. And door panels, smooth door panels with uh, added door handle. 
Ah, no drive shaft. But it does have shocks on the back, so you got to give me a little bit of credit. Let me see. Do these have drive shafts? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This one's got a drive shaft. And some homemade ladder bars or traction bars. And there's that interior with the bucket seat so you don't have to stand up and drive. Oh, I got to go. I just looked down at the thing and I'm at 1531, so I'd better get out of here. I didn't think I had enough to talk about, but my mouth never stops. Give me a like and a subscribe and a comment and tell everybody about it so they'll come and watch me. And I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.